OK, we are continuing our Football Club History series with Bolton Wanderers in this video. Fans of the Football League, they nearly got thrown out of the Football League and nearly went out of existence in 2019. And we covered that extensively on the channel alongside Berry, also struggling at the time. Yeah, this time three years ago. Uh, but they were originally formed in 1874. Well, they are one of the oldest football clubs in existence. They were originally were called Christchurch Football Club. Now, they renamed themselves in 1877 as Bolton Wanderers. They currently play at the University of Bolton Stadium, formerly known as the Macron and the Reebok. They've been there since 1997. They've got a uh, capacity currently of 28,723. So that's a fantastic stadium in League One. Uh, should be a Premier League stadium, quite frankly. Um, now, one of the records they have, they've spent a record 73 seasons in the top flight without winning the league title. That is an unenviable record. They've never won the league title. But they finished third on three occasions. Their first time finishing third was in the last season of the Football Alliance and Football League rivalry in the 1891-92 season. So when it was a single division. They then um, finished third in the 1920-21 season. And in the 1924-25 season. Now in the 20s they had a very, very good team. Which I will get to in their honours section. They did win the FA Cup quite a few times in the 20s. They were a very, very good side. In the 1920s, they've spent a grand total of two division, uh, two seasons in the old Division Four or League Two. Uh, the 1987-88 season is a historic low point, as is the 2020-2021 season. Following their administration in 2019, they get relegated from League One. They end up in League Two. Uh, they bounce back within a season. They jump out of out of League Two within a year. So they're not down there very, very long. And that is their historic low points are you know, when they're in the fourth tier of English football. Once in the late 80s and at the beginning of this decade. Uh, one of the saddest points in their history is at their former stadium, uh, Brundon Park. The Brundon Park disaster on the 9th of March 1946. There was a crowd crush. 33 fans were killed. There is a memorial plaque outside the current stadium, the University of Bolton Stadium. Um, there's a memorial service every 9th of March. Again, this is something that happens uh, more frequently than people realise in, in footballing history is stadium disasters. There are quite a few. Hillsborough is obviously the darkest day, I think, um, in English football domestically. But you had the Ibrox disaster, you had the um, Valley, um, Valley Parade disaster in the 80s, and you had the Brundon Park disaster in the 40s. This happened quite regularly. Uh, there was deaths at football matches due to... Uh, crowd surges basically um so that is a very very low that's another low point in the club's history um the other low point the 2015 to 2019 financial difficulties and eventual administration that the club found themselves in in um april 2019 that went on to august 2019 the club nearly went out of business this is going on at the same time berry is also in a financial mess now berry get thrown out the football league they have reformed Bolton survive in administration and they get relegated from League 1 to League 2 in the 2019-2020 season. That is impacted by COVID, admittedly, but they survive those financial difficulties. That's the, the second low point, uh, so I should, uh, should describe, other than just league position, the club only goes out of business. And there is a lot of, I've done, I've done videos on it on the channel. They're up there. Now, their honours, and this is what's really interesting. They've won the FA Cup four times and the Football League trophy. Now, when they're in the old third division in the late 80s and the charity shields, so they have won some silverware. They've got two uh, League Cup finals, most notably most recently against Middlesbrough uh, about 15, 16 years ago, uh, which they lose, which is Gareth Southgate's last trophy as a player as Middlesbrough captain. But they never won the League Cup, but they've won the FA Cup four times. They first win the FA Cup in the 1922-23 season. Uh, they win it again in the 1925-26 season. And then they win it again in the 1928-29 season. All the while, they finished third in two of in this period in the 20s, twice. So they were close to winning the league title as well. Couldn't quite do it, but they were a very good cup side. They win it again in the 1957-58 season. So they win the FA Cup four times. Lastly, in the 1957-58 season. When they are in the lower reaches of English football, they've won the Football League trophy once in the 1988-89 season. Um, so that was uh, their last piece of silverware, actually, is the Football League trophy of 88-89, excluding um, winning promotions and playoffs. And they won the Charity Shield in 1958. But that record, 73 seasons in the top flight without winning the league title, uh, is astounding. 
Um, that is that is a record that I think they want to lose at some point. Some other club can hopefully take that record off them. Although there's not a lot of clubs that have been in the top flight that haven't uh, won the league at least once or haven't been in the top flight as long. So that, that record may stay for quite some time. Now, their biggest rivals, obviously historically Berry, who have now been thrown out of the Football League and had to reform. Uh, Blackburn, obviously, for obvious reasons. Uh, Preston North End as well. These are both founders of the Football League. Uh, Wigan Athletic in more recent times. Uh, Burnley, another founder of the Football League. Oldham, uh, another ex-Football uh, League club. And Tranmere Rovers get up there. Um, uh, some of their biggest local rivals, obviously Manchester United and Liverpool as well, would get into that conversation. But more locally and, and with more of their history, uh, it's, it's basically founders of the Football League, basically. Blackburn, Preston, Burnley, um, Bury. They don't particularly like other clubs from the southern half of Lancashire very much. Uh, and, and even Merseyside in Tranmere. There's a lot of rivalry there. But there we go. There's a brief history of Bolton Wanderers. I am actually surprised that they didn't win more silverware in their existence, considering that the club goes back all the way back to 1874. The fact that they've spent a record number of seasons without winning the league title at 73 is another stunning fact, and a very interesting fact. We shouldn't forget about these facts. And they've only spent two seasons in the fourth tier of English football in their existence, which is, to be fair, not bad going, considering, again, the club has been in existence for so long. At some point, you would expect some dip and uh, a lengthier spell down in the basement, but that hasn't actually happened. The second time was due to financial difficulties, as you know we've described on the channel three years ago when Bolton were facing uh, administration and possible expulsion from the Football League. They've got out of that financial situation now, they're back in League One, they're aiming upwards towards the Championship again, and hopefully one day back to the Premier League. Uh, but they've got a fantastic history. Uh, they've been runners-up in the League Cup twice, They've uh, won the FA Cup four times, three times in the 20s. They were a very good side in the 1920s. It's amazing they didn't win the league um, in the 20s, but they finished third three times, twice in the 20s. So they were the nearly men uh, in the league, but in the FA Cup, they got some success. So there we go. There's a brief history of a Bolton Wanderers Football Club. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please place your thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.